Over three days, Paul Horace and his support team will be taking the squads, the 4x100m and the 4x400m men's relay teams through their paces. Having the camp at the University of Pretoria allows Cyletic South Africa and Paul Horries to make use of high-tech support equipment. The squads arrived at Tux on Thursday, 20 February, where they were welcomed by Tux Athletics manager Tony Cornelius, who outlined the three days ahead for the squad. Thereafter, a quick lunch followed before the athletes went back to the track for the first day's training session. The purpose of this training camp over the next three days is um, to look at each and every particular athlete, what's the weak and what's the strong point. Wait, 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 wait! Wait! Uh, uh. We're going to play around with the combinations a bit more because we have time. Hey. It's too close, don't top of one another, they need to move out. We need to create a little bit more space. Simon is also close in the yeah. cap on Clarence, so there's no space to work with. You know, guys like Akani, you know what he's got to offer. So, um, you know, I know what I have within him, but I need to work a little bit more with the other guys. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. No, 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 you keep, you're not supposed to call. To make sure by the time we get to Tokyo, we have the perfect six cars that will be able to do the job. So we'll do a lot of takeovers, a lot of drills, um, some video analyzing, um, so that the guys can see what we, what I'm saying to them and what I'm talking about. <laughs> and, and so that they can see what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong. So. You know, so we can paint that picture within their heads so, so that they understand it better, when, especially when they see it. Time now to meet the 4 by one meter relay team. Clarence Munya. Simon the Lion Mahakwe. Enrico Frankie. Shedrick van Beek. Tando Hoto. Kokiso Gift Leotlela. Tando Zoto. Pati Chezo Masangani. First point of order after a warm up by the athletes is the all important drills. Getting the feeling of passing the baton between runners and making sure their positioning is correct. That's it. So it's there, back, here, back. You need to open there. Get the, get, get, get. Open the hand, open the hand. Palm down, open the hand. Once comfortable with the handovers, the athletes repeated the drill, this time running on the spot. As Paul explains, this is to make sure that athletes get used to the feeling of calling and getting the baton in hand timelessly. Don't grab, don't grab. Hit! Okay, swap. Skin go to the front. <laughs> Once that is in place, the actual practice in the zones becomes a whole lot easier. Okay, cool. Guys, what are we going to do now here? Yeah? Okay, I want you to check, you guys, what? How soon he moves. I'm going to stand on that side to, to check the exchange. So just see if he goes oh, like on the mark. <laughs> Looking at Simon, AKM is going to hit the mark. If he goes on the mark, and I'm looking at the exchange on the other side. I think we need more practice. Watch the mark. Okay, let's see. Getting it right is a lot trickier than it seems at first glance, and regular repeats are needed. So you can still watch the zone from there. That's not, you need to stand there. So that thing is on the right side. You're standing here. So it's still the same zone. <laughs> Even if you do it on the other side, it's exactly the same. You need to move back. Right, left. Let's, bring a, let's get a good one here. We didn't have a good one yet for the afternoon. Go a little bit back and give some more speed. Thank you. Everyone's starting to close. So by the time they get here, they're still accelerating. Go! Work it, work it, work it! The camp is clearly a good idea as the movements take time to master. And you were, there was no hesitation, you were on speed, 
everything. You know, the, 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 we can make the exchange a little bit faster, but we'll get that, but the zone is right. But that's, I mean, you were on speed immediately. There was no hesitation. Just the core we'll work on. That's it. Good job. Thank you, sir. After a long day of practice and trials, the coach finally expresses his satisfaction. Although Paul is acutely aware that there's still lots of work to do. Look, we, some of the exchanges was good, and some of it not so good. And some of it, you can see the newbies that's here. Um, we have a lot of work, but um, I'd be worried if we had no work. One thing is clear, there is huge excitement amongst the athletes to be part of this new initiative, even though they know that everyone is fighting for a position and no one is guaranteed a spot on that final team. Akani Simbini was one of the first to buy into the squad in training camps and with his usual sense of responsibility, sees not only a medal for himself, but also the long-term view. It's exciting. It's an exciting step in towards you know, the future of South African relays, you know, creating a culture of relays in South Africa. And I'm really excited to be part of one of the, 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 the first group to actually do this. While he is acutely aware that he and the rest of the squad are trailblazing the future, Akani is looking to secure his spot on the medal podium in the relays in the near future. We have a relay. We're actually working on the relay with the camp. We, we're trying to get better. We're trying to make sure that when we go to Olympics, when we go to the World Champs, when we go to Commonwealth Games, we are prepared and not training two weeks before and going and run. We are prepared. We're starting six months before, five months before, and that's a good step forward. Even though he's barely out of his teens, Clarence Munya is seen as a bit of a veteran in the relay squad. His belief in the camp and future camps is rock solid. One of my first sessions ever for relay training. It was quite good uh, getting to know some of the new guys that haven't been in the relay. I think it was a good session. Oh, well, it's really important because as you saw at World Champs, it was just the small mistakes that cost the medal. So if we work on those small mistakes, uh, I think we can win a medal. Simon Machaku is an athlete whose passion for the sport is visible every time he steps on the track, be it to train, his beloved 100 meter race, or to be part of the newfound zest within the South African athletics for the men's 4x100 meters relay. I'm excited. I mean, it's been too long since we've done this. I mean, we did this, I think that was like 2009. So it's getting back now. Everything is getting to the table. I think we are getting to the right motion. Uh, you know, running with the youngsters and then get used to uh, getting the baiting from, from them. It's a good thing, you know, like, I mean, they are learning something. I'm learning something from them. And you, know, you can see that they are fast and then uh, as soon as um, I mean we get into the knowing each other, it will be very good, especially for the youngsters because me I have experience so far. Yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, I've been a part of the relay team since 2013, and on all the big occasions except Commonwealth Games 2018, we never managed to to get the, the proper medals. So I'm excited for the guys to finally like buy into it, and all the other athletes also um, committing to it. My heart was broken when uh, I was left behind for the World Relay Team that went to Japan. So I'm happy that I was able to prove myself in Doha that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a solid guy for the start and I'll, I'll be looking forward to running the start again in Tokyo and I'll be much faster than I was in 2019.